Let's talk about eddy current. So Foucault is a great physicist and scientist in the year of 1895 observed that when a mass of metal moves in a magnetic field or when the magnetic field through a stationary mass of a metal is altered, the induced current is produced in the metal. That is referred to as eddy current. This induced current flows in the metal in the form of a closed loops resembling eddies or whirlpool. Hence, this current is called eddy current. The direction of the eddy current is given by Lenz's law. When a conductor in the form of a disc or a metallic plate swings between the poles of the metal, eddy current is set up inside the plate. This current acts in the direction so as to oppose the motion of the conductor with a strong retarding force that the conductor almost comes to rest. You are able to see a conductor which is placed, it is a metallic plate which is placed inside the magnetic field. If the metallic plate with the holes drilled in it is made to swing inside the magnetic field, it is swinging. The effect of current, eddy current is greatly reduced. Consequently, the plate swings freely inside the field. Eddy current in the metallic course of transformers, electrical motors and other such devices in which a coil is to be owned over metallic core. You are able to see the green color that is eddy current is created. So while pressing it, you are able to see there is some eddy current is created here. You are able to see it here. So eddy currents are undesirable since they heat up the core and dissipate the electrical energy in the form of heat. So eddy currents can be minimized by using the lamination of metals to make a metal core. The lamination are separated by an insulating material like lacquer. You are able to see it is a lamination given here. The plane of the lamination must be arranged parallel to the magnetic field so that they cut across the eddy current paths. The arrangements reduces the strength of the eddy currents. Since the dissipation of electrical energy into heat depends on the square of the strength of the electrical current. So obviously the heat loss is substantially reduced. 